midday. Uh, definitely made some progress today. Uh, the shark is looking sick. It looks like a real race car now. It's got door bars. See those? Tight. Those are those are in and painted and done and checked off the list. That's where that was one of the things I got done today, as well as my mob armor. USB charger, check this out, sick. It's got your standard plug and then also a quick quick charge which at three amps, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna mount this right in here, like so. I made that tab. And then one of these will come straight up to my forward facing GoPro. And then the other one will come up to my iPad tablet off of the mob armor mount. Air filter is in. And looking sick. Coils are in with a JC dual mount. Um, I'm gonna put my fuel cell in next after I throw a post off of the chassis for the ground to go boom. Nice short, lightweight ground chassis. I'm also gonna do another cha another ground back here that'll come off of the chassis here straight to my starter bolt. So another little short jumper right there to make sure that I have solid uh, solid ground to both my chassis and my engine and transmission. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I notched this for the hood, the hatch to, to fit in there. I used to have a center light where I had my rigid rock light. I eliminated that and I put them on the sides, one on each side. So now we can probably see where my spark plugs are at, carburetor, carburetor linkage, if anything like that's going down. Look who it is, dude. What's up, cowboy? Uh, you know. I'm, I'm going over all that I've gotten done. It's looking good. It's coming together. Yeah. I also got my throttle cable in. Um, he shrinked the end so it doesn't so it doesn't mess up my fuel line um, as well as let me grab the light let me grab the light here's the light boom I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I did so this is your factory throttle tube boom I routed the other one down and through I notched it right here to take a little angle out and then I put a piece of hose in between the two and I hose clamped them on and then I zip tied it up to where the thing cannot move it's a nice, smooth, fluid transition in between the two. Um, the old one, the stock one, stops about right here somewhere or so. And uh, so I cut it back to make it to where it was nice and straight. I'm probably actually going to lift this up and uh, figure out a way to mount that away from my clutch, clutch line and get that finalized. So um, more empty parts showed up, so I get to jam out on those i'm gonna do my breather next i'm gonna do that ground next and uh put a different belt on there a little thicker bigger belt and uh, i got all my hardware kit for all my fenders um as well as a whole bunch of other goodies so that's exciting yeah i'm excited so now it's time to put these on and update you a little later oh yeah when I went to Swift Powder the other day, I got some powder stuff. And I also got my hoon handle back in, baby. Yee -yee. New shift knob. Time to get to work. Cowboy just got off work and he's got a lot to do on the wiring still. It's almost done. That's what he said last week. Oh, it's almost done. Uh, if my guy would stop changing his mind on where he I wants I did change stuff. a couple things. Not a whole lot. It's all pretty relative, but it'll be in the next couple days. Shocks are coming in tomorrow. Uh, we also got another secret that I'll share with you tomorrow that Wiring's we're gonna be doing. Tomorrow. With dash. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna bet dinner on it. Deal, Taco Bell? Ta no. It's Wednesday tomorrow. It's Sizzler? Wing Wednesday, that means Dirty Birds. Dirty Birds, I'll settle for that. I'll All right. Settle. There it is, on. Let's see it. Let's man, oh man. It's another late one. However, I got a sick surprise for you. What do you think, dude? This was your first time seeing the shark. The Looks slug pretty shark. good. Killing it. Dude, check this out. Shocks are on and done. Torqued, tightened. Reservoirs are up in there. Fuel cell is in and plumbed. Yeah. Uh, Kevin came through and stood off all the 
Pull the spark plug wires. Sick. Good job, Kevin. Looks beautiful. That's what's up, dog. Um, I also put on the MP breather system um, for both the valve covers. Got that dialed in. Nice little standoff. Um, yeah, this Pyrotech looks so good in here with these purple Swift powder coated straps that we went and put diamonds in instead of your standard circles, which you would normally find. However, we went a little different route. Got my vent line, I got my fuel system all plumbed and done and checked off. I also got the front brow on. Yeah, visor looks sick. That purple. Hoon handles back in. Um, I also ran all my grounds and my positives uh, to my battery switch, which is right here on my firewall. Um, so the, the main big electrical stuff is done. I think I already touched down about the air filter being, being back there, but... Um, Bro, this thing looks like a race car. It looks like a race car, it's dude. It's a freaking race car. It's a freaking race car, dude. Hell yeah. And I'm pumped. You I'm still not, awesome still not going to show you guys any of this stuff. This stuff's still, still coming together. But also put the door bars in and welded those up. Um, I'm excited. This thing literally looks like we're going to make it to the mint. Like coming into today, I was just tired but Bro, we're going to the mint we're going to the mint and we're gonna we're gonna thrash baby you coming coming we also got another little secret coming in store tomorrow it's not really a secret but i like to call it a secret because <laughs> you guys don't know about it yet but it's gonna be bad and it's gonna be another something something that is mandatory for all if all race cars but not all of them is it have a secret it. Oh. No, that's a different secret. <laughs> that's a secret for later, but we got we got some shit going down. I'm gonna go do a hot lap on this 110 and then uh, get the hell out of here and get some rest because tomorrow we're doing it all over again. We're getting front shocks tomorrow, some some uh, new tires, as well as a whole boatload of other things. Today we got a lot of checks and everything that is was put on the car today was final assembly. It's done and it is that much closer yeah five more days if that so we gotta be in vegas uh help starting off today a little different note here with kevin and we are talking about the <laughs> trophy bug that that we've been wanting to start for quite some time um the shell's still outside she's she's ready but uh obviously making sure everything is dialed in a hundred percent is First and foremost, um, it's not easy to do. And Kevin, Kevin is a goddamn engineer without a degree. And I think sometimes those are the best. Um, he's been an off-road his whole life. <laughs> and yeah, we're not following any rules, kind of just going through it. He's he's drafted oh, up a ton of different planes oh. for suspension and, and pivot points oh, for roll centers, shock motion ratios, all that good stuff, right? Yeah, man. Totally. Seems promising. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to find the file, and I don't have it on this computer right now. Oh, good. You know what? I got I got faith in him. Uh, he's <laughs> surprises me on the daily with his uh, his capabilities and how much he's been self taught and and or learned. Um, there is the the shell though. 12 inches wider in the front window, 10 and a half in the rear because of the contour of the body, and then eight inches wider in the front window, where you can see I spliced this section of a cab, a red cab on it, and uh, four inches in the rear window. Um, she don't look the prettiest right now, but again, just like everything, we, we create magic out of uh, some of <laughs> some things that are super fucked up um, You can see all of our points here that are kind of starting to bubble up these points were actually all used to scan this shell um, With fiberworks 3d scanner So we after that we were able to put it in the computer and he was able to finalize that chassis. That's to be coming to life soon um, So we spent uh, a little bit of this morning kind of going over some things on that uh, now I'm gonna dive back into the shark. We're getting some more parts ready for powder coat, finishing outfitting the dash, 
Zach's pulling some light bar tabs off for our rugged or rigid lights to get those powder coated as well. And uh, the dash is going to be going in to powder as well after I finish a couple more spots on there. However, check this out. This is a torque multiplier. So you can see here it has this gear drive. And when you torque it down to 25 foot pounds, 25 foot pounds says that it goes to 225 foot pounds with this torque multiplier. So this is a really cool part from MP um, for working with either a wide five setup or even with the, the, the four bolt Volkswagen, stock Volkswagen pattern. Um, pretty trick. That way, you know, you're getting those things tight. I also have a big ass breaker bar that I'll probably put on it, but uh, I thought this was pretty cool. So I ordered one of these up and <laughs> it works and it's, it's accurate, which is rad because I just checked it with a piece of pipe and my normal torque wrench on the other side. So I was doing this side and I figured I'd show you guys this, this trick little tool here. And uh, also what this morning started out with, with what the future is gonna look like. If you guys like this build, um, when we go bigger and fatter with the TT bug, we're gonna do something very similar to this, maybe a little bit more in depth. This was kind of a pilot for, for this, but um, you guys saw the progress last night on the Slug Shark. Time is of the essence. Uh, we're gonna put tire balls in the tires today with those guys. I got um, my universal clamp in tire valves from Napa. Um, we ordered six more, so I'm gonna run these just because uh, they're stout, they're strong, and I know uh, that I've had good luck with these in the past on race cars. So as the day unfolds, we'll keep we'll keep keep dragging you guys along through this process. So hope everyone's having a good day and enjoying this series and let the good times roll, baby. I gotta get back to work. Okay. What do we got, dog? Oh, we're just uh, laying in the harness so we can start wiring everything in, man. Ooh. We're gonna have a race car. Wires everywhere. We gotta have lights. Damn. We gotta have some lights. We gotta have lights. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh -hoo -hoo. The new King Front Shock showed up too. Damn. Pop, I like the it. gnarliest six inches you ever had. The hardest six inches you've ever seen, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, about to route these up inside, keep them protected up in here. Gonna have to drill a big ass hole. I thought about putting them up high, but if something comes in contact with the fender and just slams it, yeah. you know, that's gonna be a bad day. That could be, that could end the front shock's life. So I think sticking them up under the hood is probably the best place for them safety wise. Uh, performance wise, out here showing up and showing out would be pretty. Oh, nice and air cooled. I don't know. Still haven't made that 100% decision yet. <laughs> Dang, there's a bunch of wires up in there, dude. Yeah, well, we got you know, a lot of shit to wire. You know where it all goes? Well, I'm going to make educated guesses. Solid. That's all we yeah. need. That's all we need. All right. Uh, I think that's all we got for today so far. Midday. Uh, we got Deutsch connectors in place for the front headlights, which will come down. I uh, got all these goods from ProWire, using nothing but the best. Here's all the connectors, all the Deutsches, um, some plugs for some other stuff, uh, some different pins that we're going to need, as well as the rest of all of our Deutsches. Uh, three ways, two ways, four ways, you name whichever way you like it, they got it. But. Are we going to throw that other one on right now? Not yet, not yet, not yet, Joe. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put these. Oh yeah, dead pedals. Passenger dead pedal, driver's side dead pedal. There's some dimples in there for traction, right? Right. We got some traction going on. Bow. Wait, with the gusset on top. Yup, threw a little gusset, a little kicker on the top. Uh, right where I like it, right where I need it. And then we got the oh shit dead pedal for Cowboy and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, there's gonna be a handful of those moments, but Hopefully. checking things off. Going through the waves, as always, there's little hurdles that, that go with everything. I forgot to give these the powder coat. Damn it. <laughs> All right, uh, but yeah. Swift's got the rest of the powder coat up there. The dash, the rear skid plate, um, the intake, and a couple of little goodies that we're gonna, we're gonna 
add some flair to. So I'm gonna get back to work because standing here ain't doing no good. Look who showed up. BFD off-road in the house. My man, Steven. What's up? What do you think of the bug? He's fucking dope. Dude. I like it. I like it a lot. For, you never thought it'd come this far as quick? I knew it would. Uh, that's what's up. One fool that has faith in us. Huh. Jojo, what do you think of those tire balls? Tie. What do you think, Zach? Pretty sick. So these guys just came through and we got a couple options. So we had Scat Track shave these tires to 200 thou. And then we also have a 300 thou tire option. Um, we're using some Maxima shock oil right now. We're lubing these tires up. What's up, boys? Hey, how's it going? So, tire, for balls. tire balls. Yeah, we're just pretty much, these are like a, almost like a run flat slash. Give me the, give me the full breakdown on these right now. So it's a high performance run flat system. It's uh, adjustable and pressure. You can tune it for different car weights, different tire sizes, different, you know, different vehicle, different terrain. Um, Basically, the theory is like we about have 18 in a tire. You can puncture 30, 40 percent of them and still keep going. That's sick. Improve handling, and compression, it slows down the rebound of the of the tire and everything. So that's really well. rad. And you could run comfortably lower tire pressures. Yeah. And so you're saying half of these bags can can go get popped. And I've seen pictures on your expand, Instagram. Fill up the void of the flat ball, so oh. you know, as they puncture, the others stretch out, and you can keep going. You know, so you can have a different puncture points and and still maintain the section height of the tire and keep racing. So it's like having almost like eight tubes, yeah, or plus mm -hmm. fifteen yeah, tubes. tubes in the tire. That's yeah. sick. So, so that's we we came across these. These are used from from our boy uh, Seth, right? Guthrie. Yeah. yeah. Guthrie. Yeah, Guthrie hooked it up. We came through in a pinch, so. That's what's up. We're good to go, man. So Just we're going to, how many are we going to run per tire, you think? We're going to try and uh, stretch try them out 14, a little bit. 14, 12, 14 per tire. We'll see how we go. So going on a different <laughs> wheel with a Volkswagen yeah. setup, but, uh, you know. Yeah, a little narrower yeah. wheel than, than the side-by-side -side stuff. It's pretty close, so we, we know that one of, you know, these will fit good and it's going to work out. A funny thing is, uh, I was un unaware of this, but these are outlawed in King of the Hammers yeah. because the guys were going so hard on them. I mean, Looking too gnarly. So. That says something about this product. And uh, I've seen pictures on their Instagram, which is at Tireballs on, on IG, of literally chunks of the wheels missing and yeah. these balls just sitting in there, people finishing races yeah, like that. Yeah which is unreal yeah you keep finished as long as it's still bolted to the car you know it'll hold the tire up and, <laughs> and keep you going we've seen wheels oh break in half or you know different t chunks of the tire missing and the balls flying out you know but they uh they usually stay intact and stay in there and uh you, you know most of our top racers racing utv class are all doing really well finishing races on the same set they started with so that's kind of our goal that's sick these these tire these wheels as you can see have some rusting and some pitting and uh, a big thing in the class 11 is guys not finishing races because they're bending wheels or getting flats because they're going harder than what the the wheel itself is capable of so um, with tire balls um, that's going to help absorb some of that cush spread the load out through the tire and allow me to run a, maybe a little bit lower tire pressure to where I can get some more traction better braking and also absorb some of the smaller choppier stuff and not have to, to to dance in between that fine line of saving the wheel and preventing myself from getting flat and then running something that's super hard and really rigid with uh, with only running you know the limited suspension so uh, I wanted to I wanted to test be the first one to test these out. I'm not sure. Are any other class 11s running? Uh, we've had some guys in the past, but no, okay. nothing this year at Mint, you know. So we definitely yeah. So classes over the years, we have a lot of guys teams in different classes, but throughout the series. But yeah, this will be our first class 11, so we're, we're good to go. That's pumped. <laughs> I'm super gonna pumped. Good. We're gonna figure this out and hopefully uh, 
hopefully have a little bit of an edge because uh, that's that's what racing is about trying new things and and this is a proven product this machine this contraption is is pretty <laughs> elaborate yeah we kind of designed this for doing interliner systems for some of the hammer trucks and different things so yeah it helps assist in all the aspects of UTVs and everything just makes things go a little easier for us but uh, yeah it's a good system you know I think it's gonna work out really well they in increased traction contact batch I mean you're gonna, awesome. and no flats no flats that's the biggest thing a flat is a lot is a lot of downtime that's safety on the course changing your tire next to the course you know some guys true jack doesn't work whatever you know so we got safety we got reliability we got strength durability and hopefully finishing races on our side with the tire balls. We're gonna let these boys uh, get to work. We're gonna show this whole process and um, yeah. yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to test these out. Yeah. This is this is a new a new opportunity for me that I'm trying to share with you guys. So uh, scope Start it out as it comes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, dudes. Yeah, thank you. yeah, let's get dirty. Let's do it. Seriously going down over here. Cowboy got the rear one all laid out. Right? Yeah, it's all getting shrinked. It's all getting heat shrinked, and then we're gonna terminate all the ends. Jojo's over there doing the heat shrink. Um, now he's laying in the front harness for the the front lights, the brake light, the horn, um, the the hood light, um, as well as gauges, all the good shit. The 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 A pillar lights, um, gauges. There's a lot of wires going on here right we're gonna add more wires too. we're gonna have a, a horn we're gonna add more wires to this and we're gonna add more wire but you can see there's multiple colors yeah we got to add still for the the front USB. front light the usb the start the push to talk the that won't really obviously go into this bundle but then the horn uh chill mode switch secret chill mode switch and there, then some wait why are we having switch or in the pod there's always a chill mode switch the chill mode switch isn't getting wired in oh shh, 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 shh. more secrets but this is all our pro wire stuff uh more of it the connectors the wire you're looking for wiring that's that's the business we got these guys slapping these tire balls in still it's epic slapping balls. slapping balls baby look at these we're putting 13 13 bags in so uh these these are no joke these boys are getting after it and uh yeah need one more of those 30 cuts <laughs> one more i got you i got you I'll, I'll find it for you so i think we decided to go with the 30 thou 30 thou tread height and uh those are going to be stuffed over here yeah it's like, I was uh, saying these look like 20 cuts <clears throat> Oh, I want to show the dash. So it's it's over there on the yeah. left. Yeah. It'll have 300 thou written on it. The crew has showed up and we're showing out and we're getting shit done. I love it. Like it's starting to come together. I can see the light. Heat shrink station on the floor per usual. Jojo's like, I like Indian style, baby. I like it. Sorry, I had a monster. I'm all hopped up on monster, you know. Bow. Rugged dash. The dash is in. The rugged radio. The the radio's in. The push to talk is in um, for the, the intercom. We also have video tack, a fuel, an oil temp, and an oil pressure, a volt, an idiot light for our volts, an idiot light for our PSI, switch pro system, and that's pretty much all that the dash is going to see. And it's going in soon. Cowboy Sexton. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, that's where we're at. We got uh, a bunch of boys that showed up. Uh, King Shocks are on. I'm going to wait till Cowboy's done in this area to blast the hole up through here and then route the, the shock reservoirs up in here. I think this is the safest place for them. Uh, I should probably let you blast a hole in this area before I start laying my wires where they want to be. Well, you're going to pull them back out. Yeah, and then if heat I shrink have it. to go around what you're blasting a hole through, I'd rather do it now. Nah, dude, you're gonna go right here. Oh, That's fine. I'm, I'm gonna stay up in. I'm gonna All stay right. up in here. Right, Nothing will be low. I'll, I'll make sure I stay below this little double up body line. Bow, 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 bow. Sick. I'm out. Bow.